Eldivers 2 has tons of potentially viable loadouts for group play, however, solo players may find that some of these loadouts will not work out very well when they're trying to take on the entire world all by themselves on extremely high difficulties. And we can't deny that both the Automaton and the Terminid factions function completely different, therefore will require different playstyles and loadouts to best maximize your efficiency at delivering that managed democracy. So today, we'll be going over what I consider to be the best loadout you could use for the Terminate faction that allows me to win pretty consistently playing solo Helldiver difficulty. I'll be releasing a video on how to consistently win as solo play on Helldiver, and this video will be used as a reference for the ideal loadout to maximize our efficiency for dealing with high difficulties. If you don't care about why we selected these choices and only care about seeing the loadout and getting off, then use the timestamps found below and skip to the end of the video where you'll see the entire loadout later out. So without any further ado, let's get to the loadout. Starting off with the primary weapon, we'll be selecting the Breaker Shotgun to no one's surprise. The Breaker Shotgun will be your best choice when dealing with Terminate. Being able to output the most damage out of any other weapons in the entire game so far, carries a lot of ammo which will assist us with dealing with swarms, reloads really fast, and much more. As a result, we have a swarm dealing monster that packs a hell of a punch and can one hit most of these smaller units, all being able to get rid of the larger ones with much more ease than most of the other weapons. For the secondary weapon, we'll be using the Redeemer pistol found really early on in the War Bonds. This pistol will be our best damage dealing option, even though it's not necessarily my favorite of secondary weapons, it's still going to be our best choice overall. The reason being that we don't actually use secondaries that much, it will be rare for us to actually use these. The only times we'll use secondaries is when we run out of ammo and we want to dish out damage quickly on the ever-growing numbers of hunters or when we have a mission that requires us to be carrying a package. This choice is extremely flexible, so pick as you'd like, but personally, I enjoy dishing out fast damage with the Redeemer. For the grenade type, we'll be wanting to opt in for the impact grenade. The impact grenade has the same damage as the strongest fuse grenade in the game. The only difference is that it explodes on impact rather than having a fuse time, which can be a little bit riskier for self-killing if you accidentally hit a target closer to you and end up killing yourself, but that's really the only downside. The impact grenade will be dramatically easier to effectively use as you won't be needing to cook grenades or to estimate fuse time to land those grenades perfectly. All you have to do is chuck the grenade at the biospewer's face and you're good to go. For the armor set, you'll want to utilize a light armor set. As of the time of this recording, our armor ratings are currently glitched and are undergoing a patch by the game developers. But even fixing these armor ratings will not impact the fact that we'll be better off with a light armor set. I think for automatons, when armor rating gets fixed, heavy armor might become the meta. But for the Terminid, speed will always be our best friend for staying alive and not really armor rating. So which light armor should you use? Well, that's gonna depend on your playstyle. In all of the clips you're seeing there in the background, I am utilizing the Scout Armor Set, which is an armor set best utilized for stealth play. However, I personally enjoy to play highly aggressive, so really, I'm using the wrong armor for my playstyle here. If you want to avoid as many fights as you possibly can to play it safely, you want to equip yourself with an armor set with the Scout Passive, which is found very early on on the armor set named the Infiltrator, as well as a couple of others. If you want to play aggressive like how I play, taking on fights without much care in the world, which by the way, is very viable against Terminids, then you'll want to use an armor set with the engineering kit, which will improve our recoil when crouched, but most importantly, allow us to carry six grenades rather than four, which will be very important in solo play, as grenades will be very scarce when dealing with bile spewers and having to seal off bug nests. So these will be our ideal equipment choices, but now let's check out our ideal stratagems. For our stratagems, we'll need to be at least level 20. If you're under this level, I have a video covering low level builds, which I'll link in the description box below, which will work for anyone below level 10. So check that out if you're not level 20 yet. For the first stratagem, we'll be picking the Eagle Airstrike, which is unlocked at extremely low levels and is without a doubt my most used stratagem as it's extremely versatile and will work in any situation. This stratagem is very flexible in the sense that you can use it pretty frequently and it does wonders against swarms and even destroys objectives and armored units such as the chargers as well. This will be mostly used as our swarm dealing stratagem and is best used right on top of bug breaches to get a guaranteed dozen plus kills 
or in those situations where you're getting swarmed from every direction and your breaker alone might not cut it. Moving on to the next stratagem, we also have yet another very flexible stratagem that can deal with both swarms and armor targets. But this time around will be best used for those really big annoying units, most notably the Bio Titan. The stratagem in question is the infamous 500 kilo bomb, aka the democracy spreader. These will require a little bit of getting used to, but eventually you get pretty comfortable at landing nearly all of your 500 kilo bombs right underneath bio titans being able to kill them in one hit in the video i'll be releasing in a couple of days i'll be showing you how to stop bio titans right on top of these 500 kilo bombs so stay tuned for that we opt in for the 500 kilo bomb over the orbital rail cannon strike or the orbital laser because the 500 kilo will have multiple uses when upgraded with samples carrying up to two bombs and its eagle rearm time will be far faster than having to wait for orbital lasers or orbital rail cannon strike giving us far more opportunities opportunities to take down multiple bio titans a game usually resulting in me getting about four to six one hit bio titan kills per game without me having to lift much of a finger also the orbital rail cannon as well as the orbital laser will oftentimes not kill the bio titan in one use resulting in a waste of a stratagem moving on next up we've got the overly talked about in this channel the railgun and it's overly talked about for a reason this will be your best offensive support weapon as a solo player as it won't occupy your backpack slot and it also will be your main source of dealing with chargers as well as your secondary choice for dealing with bio titans and other armor targets such as bio spewers and hive guards the railgun will plug any holes your loadout may have as it's a very powerful weapon that can put most of the units out of their misery with just one shot or two shots to the legs in the case of chargers. Are you out of nades for dealing with bio spewers? The railguns got ya. You got our charger problem? The railguns got ya. You don't have any stratagems out of cooldowns to deal with bio titan? Guess what? The railguns got ya. I have talked about this stratagem extensively in other videos so I won't be doing much of that here. Either way, this will be your best choice right now as a solo player. And lastly for stratagems, we'll want to opt in for something a little bit more defensive and in this case, the very powerful shield generator pack. The shield will kind of be like our crutch stratagem that will simply make the game like twice as easy when equipped with this, allowing you to make some pretty simple mistakes such as getting hit by smaller bugs as the smaller bugs won't be able to stagger you or slow you down if you've got your shield up. The shield has got an insanely large health pool protecting you from when you get hit by chargers attack, protecting you from stalkers knockdowns, and even protecting you from bio titan acid spews. But where the stratagem truly shines is saving you from staggers and slowdowns by smaller units such as hunters, which will almost always lead to your death because if you're getting staggered by little units, then odds are you're about to get rammed six feet deep. So having this defense will save your life more times than you could even count. Even the railgun is more replaceable than the support weapon. This truly is just the best choice you could bring with you in Terminant Worlds. And for the last part of our loadout comes the booster. Right now we don't have too many crazy good booster choices and the one I find works the best for Terminant games is the Stamina one. The Stamina booster will most notably offer you the most mobility for kiting all of your enemies as well as allowing you to recover your stamina faster. The stamina booster combined with the light armor set will make it extremely easy to kite bio titans. They should never really be able to catch up to you unless you have your back up against the wall. So since mobility is going to be our best friend at dealing with determined faction, that this will be ultimately your best choice for a booster. So that's it for the most overpowered solo Helldiver loadout against the Terminant faction. And this right here is the entire loadout for those of you that just want to see it in one place. Remember, there are various types of loadouts that will work wonders in Helldivers 2. This is simply the best loadout I've found after dozens and dozens of solo hell diving missions on the highest difficulty. Thank you all for watching. I'll be catching you guys in the next video and I'll catch you hell divers on the next one. Peace.